Hey, ECU kids, I'm glad you're here. Today's big idea is love God. I'm so excited to share today's lesson, but before we get into our story, let's offer up our praise and worship to God by singing this song. Today, we are going back to one of my favorite restaurants to learn today's big idea, love God. Our lesson is in the Old Testament book of Exodus, where we will see that God had an important message for Moses to share with the people of Israel. Let's take a look. Isa Mustache o Restaurante. Welcome to Mustache Restaurante. I will be your server. Would you like to start off with a lemonade or iced tea? Water's all around? Sure. Today we have some lovely specials on the menu. I'll send out the breadsticks to get you started. It's a time for the memory verse. Here you go. Today's memory verse is from Luke 10:27. Listen as I say the verse. Love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul. Now say it with me. Love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul. Terrific! Enjoy your bread. Are you ready to order? We have some delicious entrees on the menu. But first, let me tell you about our special of the week. In fact, why don't you come with me to meet the chefs and they can tell you themselves. Follow me. Joey, we need three orders of spaghetti and meatballs and linguine. And a pizza pie. Oh, hi, what can we do for you? You need to know this week's special? Let's tell them this week's special. 
This week's special is the Ten Commandments. Let me tell you about this very special dish. After crossing the Red Sea, the Israelites have been wandering in the desert for three months. Three months in a desert? That's crazy! Finally, they came to Mount Sinai. On the third day, there was thunder and lightning. The Israelites trembled in fear. And the Lord came down on the mountain in fire, and the top of the mountain was covered with smoke. The whole mountain trembled and shook, and a trumpet sound was blasting out from the cloud. I think the Lord had something important to say, huh? God told Moses to come to the top of the mountain to meet with him. God wanted to make a covenant with his chosen people, the Israelites. A covenant is when two people make a promise and they promise to keep it. God promised to make the Israelites his chosen people, but they needed a promise to follow his ways. So God gave Moses the Ten Commandments. The first four commandments were all about loving God. Why do you think that is? Because it's so important. Listen up, and we will explain what the commandments mean. One, you shall have no other gods before me. That means we should worship God, only the one true God. Two, do not make statues of gods. Back in Old Testament times, and even in some cultures today, some people will worship false gods. These were statues that they made that they call the God or a pretend God that they just made up. But our God is the one true God. He always has been and He always will be. He's the creator of the universe and the father of Jesus Christ. That means that in our lives, nothing is more important than God. Three, do not misuse the name of the Lord. We should only use the name of the Lord when we pray, sing praise, or talk about Him. Never use it carelessly like whenever you're angry or surprised. Four, remember to keep the Sabbath day holy. God rested on the seventh day and made it holy. We are to honor God on the Sabbath day by resting, spending time with God and our loved ones. Now, those were the first four commandments. Here are the other six. Five, honor your father and mother. Six, do not murder. Seven, do not commit adultery. Eight, do not steal. Nine, do not be a false witness against your neighbor. And 10, do not want to have anything your neighbor owns. These commandments were just a bunch of rules to frustrate the people. God gave his chosen nation these commandments to help them. God wanted to show the Israelite people how to love God and love people. Today's big idea, love God. Here you go, one order of this week's special. On the house, I'm sure you're gonna love it. We have an amazing pizza on the menu too. Why don't you go see the pizza chef and check it out? Now it's the time for the trivia. Oh, hello there. I bet you're here to check out this week's pizza special, huh? So here's the deal. You answer a question correctly from today's story, and I'll throw on some toppings. The Israelites trembled with fear from thunder, lightning, and a sound of a drum or trumpet. The Israelites trembled with fear from thunder, lightning, and a sound of a trumpet. God came on top of the mountain in wind or fire. God came on top of the mountain in fire. What is the first commandment? Do not misuse the Lord's name, or you shall have no other gods before me. The first commandment is you shall have no other gods before me. Making a covenant means Making a promise or keeping a secret. Making a covenant means making a promise. Okay, let's wrap up your order. I'm a little curious. How are you going to love God? I'm going to give you 15 seconds to quietly think of some ideas. Go! I don't know what you came up with, but here's your to-go box with some ideas. Spend time with God, you know, by praying and reading your Bible. Don't misuse God's name. Saying it in prayer is fine, but saying it when you're mad is a sign of disrespect. Take a second and think about what's the most important thing in your life. 
instead of just playing sports or video games or hanging out with your friends. We should find time to spend with God. Trust me, when you put God first, everything falls into place. Got it? Hey, don't forget your to-go box and remember to live out today's big idea. Love God. Thanks for stopping in. Isa Mustashi o Restaurante. This week's lesson focused on the first four commandments, which are all about loving God. Loving God means that you make Him the most important thing in your life. I pray that you do that today and every day. Now, I'm gonna leave you with some questions to talk about with your family. Press pause, read them together, and then talk a bit about it. We'll see you next week. Thank you.